Good morning and welcome back. My name is John. I am Orphan Car Garage. I'm located in Massachusetts in the little town of Abington, which is about 30 minutes south of Boston. I'm super excited to show you the car here in front of me today because it fits our criteria here at Orphan Car Garage to a T. It's a true orphan. It's an Oldsmobile and it's truly affordable. And we are the purveyors of affordable classic cars. This car is going to be very affordable and I'll reveal that price very shortly after we do a quick walk around. This is an Oldsmobile Starfire from the year 1964. The Starfire was introduced in 1961 as sort of a personal luxury car. Uh, it was kind of a new segment of automobiles that had emerged onto the market thanks to the likes of the Ford Thunderbird, Pontiac Grand Prix and such. So Oldsmobile wanted a piece of the action too. In 1961, when the car was introduced, it was only available in a convertible form, and it was actually the most expensive Oldsmobile you could buy that year. So these cars are not ill-equipped. These cars are very nicely appointed. The hardtop, like this one here in front of us, was added to the lineup in 1962, and only available this car from hardtop form, two-door hardtop form, and convertible its entire lifespan. It was never available in a four-door or a station wagon or anything like that. Again. It was a personal luxury car market. This is a coupe from 1964. Very nicely equipped, like I said, nice appointments. These cars all came with leather bucket seats. And the bucket seats in this car are in exceptional condition. You'll notice that there's a console and a console shifter. Oldsmobile was actually the first one to introduce a console mounted automatic shifter in a full size car with this model. Very interesting, and this car is, of course, equipped with that automatic T-shifter on the console and that really cool factory tachometer up there at the front, which does operate in this car. Beautiful side panels, just really nice interior. That's where this car really shines. So this car was painted in its original red, I'm going to guess about 30 years ago or more. So this paint has obviously got some age to it. We had our guys come in and do a full paint correction. They spent about four hours on it. And basically a paint correction is a three-step process that basically grinds down the top surface of dead paint. And they did a really, really nice job. This car was far worse when it got here. Obviously still not perfect. So this is not a show car paint job by any means, but very, very presentable, nothing to be ashamed of, and keeps the car in an affordable range. I'm gonna show you a couple of the flaws in the paint. You'll see here on the uh, C-pillar, someone tried to touch up an old scrap, an old flake. There's a new flake there. Some bubbling here, but that's not rust. That's just bubbling in the paint. That is not rust. This car is very, very straight. Very, very straight. Um, I can't find any signs of any major bodywork ever on this car. And the undercarriage and the frame rails in this car are very, very, very clean. No signs of any floor patches at any time passenger side of the car is actually a little bit better than the driver's side really really nice looking car you get closer and you start to see some flaws here again another touch-up there's some light scratches in the paint try to show you that there and that's throughout the top surfaces of the car it's kind of hard to show it in the camera so but you get my you get my drift on this very presentable but not a show quality paint job by any means really nice trim really nice chrome those cool rib rocker panel moldings are all in great shape as you can see the car is very straight no signs no signs of any major uh body filler or anything like that we just put these brand new white wall tires on the car those original spinner style hubcaps are still there nice bumpers and grill and headlight trim Just a real sharp example of a very in-demand model from Oldsmobile. One of the reasons why these cars are in such demand is they became they were quite powerful. These cars all came with a 394 cubic inch high compression V8 and a four barrel carburetor. This car is so equipped. So this car is certainly no slouch. Lots of work has been performed on this car over the past couple years. Rear springs, shocks all the way around, a rebuilt carburetor. A full tune-up with cap rotor wires plugs and we just did a fresh oil change on this car as well so this car is completely turnkey and ready to go there's really nothing the next owner needs to do except maybe if they want bring it to another level cosmetically 
completely up to you. We have the original bill of sale and the original window sticker from this car from 1964. The car was sold new to a woman on Long Island. I love a car that tells a story and we sort of have the story with that paperwork. Again, beautiful door panels, presumably original because I don't think anybody's reproducing these. Again, the seats with little to no wear, even the driver's side. The carpeting with those cool built-in floor mats. There is a part of the kick panel here that's missing. Very nicely equipped car, factory AM, FM radio, and it works. Car also has an optional trunk release, vacuum trunk release, and it works show you that in a second I just popped it if you haven't noticed already there's an auxiliary temperature gauge added a lot of guys like to add those to old cars because this car had an idiot light originally if you don't like that and you want to go back to that we have the original sending unit it's here in the glove box and you could remove the gauge and go back to the light if you so wanted uh, totally up to you it's kind of nice to have the gauge in these old cars the original owner's manual Odometer shows 102,501, so just over 100,000 miles. The heat in this car works fantastically. I used it last night. All the lights and wipers work, two speed wipers. They go back and park like they should. Nicely done. I'm gonna show you the engine and the trunk. car is running I just I love the way this car sounds dual exhaust no smoke no crazy noises very clean trunk looks like somebody made their own trunk liner at one point not bad I mean some surface scale but that's certainly nothing to really complain about very nice and the quarter panels this car was very well cared for over the years the original jacking instructions and that courtesy light which I believe is part of a convenience package that's on the window sticker we'll get to the engine compartment here real quick and I'll wrap this up I just love having this car here always had a thing for these Oldsmobiles there you have it nice clean engine bay that 394 ultra high compression V8 nice smooth running car she also has power steering and power brakes, which you'd probably expect. No serious issues, nice, nice hood liner. This car has far more, I guess it would help if I removed my bottle of Simple Green. Uh, there's an extra bottle of washer fluid too. That's a factory, uh, factory accessory I believe kind of a cool thing a real glass bottle with some spare washer fluid in it just in case you run out so there you have it very nicely sorted obviously well running nice driver also I want to mention on top of the recent work with the springs and the rebuilt car and the tune-up the transmission in this car has been rebuilt we have the receipt for that I have a lot of receipts for this car so Anybody that's seriously interested, I could take photocopies of those or scan copies of those to you. Check out my website. I'm going to put a full gallery of photos on this car, including the undercarriage. OCG priced on this 1964 Old Starfire, $13,900. Just $13,900. I call this car a number three. If you're familiar with the condition guides that Old Cars uses, um, the Old Cars price guide and Haggerty. I call this a strong number three car. And if you look at number three pricing, we're way below the mark. I think Old Cars Price Guide has a number three value on this car, about $18,000. And then Haggerty just maybe just below that, around $17,000 for a number three condition car. This is a very strong number three. You could probably bring it to a number two without a whole lot of effort. And we're only asking $13,900 for this rare and cool 1964 Oldsmobile. Give me a call, 508-954-8090. Check me out on the web, orphancargarage.com. And of course, like and subscribe to me here on YouTube. We always have cool and affordable stuff to offer you. Appreciate the support. 
Thank you.